Hi, it's seven grains of salt. Pastor Rodney Howard Brown was arrested. I'm sure everyone has heard this, and if you haven't, um, well, let's go into this. But before we start to look into the arrest, let's first look at who Michael Howard Brown is. Well, he was born in South Africa. His parents right there, their names. He has three brothers, and he's married to Adonika, and they have three kids. There is just a brush of what and who he is. He's written many, many books, and I'm not going to go over those books. Um, just in the past few years, though, it has been the killing of Uncle Sam, killing of the planet, and uh, socialism under the microscope. So those are his most recent ones. Um, he started off, as many know, with the holy laughter at the Carpenter's Home Church in uh, Lakeland, Florida. Uh, there, Howard's services are characterized by laying of hands with worshipers giggling and apparent spiritual drunkenness, speaking in tongues, emitting animal noises, and breaking into unco uncontrollable holy laughter, shaking, dancing in the aisles, or falling under the gro on the ground. But it's basically, he's known for the holy laughter. Uh, Brown was credited introducing that, and unusual, maybe, square footage of the place, but I'm not going to look into that right now. His current church is the Revival Ministries International. Well, it all started with Randy Clark, and that was in the Toronto uh, Airport Vineyard Church. Well, looking into Randy Clark, uh, just ever so briefly, I noticed, well, I didn't know who this man was. Well, all I had to see was pictures of him with Bill Johnson, and that really said enough for me, and those are current. So you can't say you haven't known what this man has been doing or what he has been up to and who he is united with. Whether it be Kundalini, I don't know. It is possible with all the videos. On a warm night in Tampa, young people are out looking for laughs, but hundreds are bypassing comedy clubs to get their chuckles at church <laughs> and guffaws, <laughs> roars, <laughs> screams, <laughs> all standard fare at the Laughing Church, <laughs> where Dr. Rodney Howard Brown says the Holy Spirit is making folks out. They're laughing, they're crying, they're shaking, they're falling out of the seats. I knew it had nothing to do with me. Now let's see a different point of view from Pentele with the strange fire. The word fire, calling down fire from heaven, is a persistent theme that we hear. Theologically, do we want fire to come from heaven? In, in the context, and Justin can point this out too, a lot of the conversation is about feeling a burning, being set on fire, thereby calling the fire down from heaven. Theologically, how do we respond to this prayer to call down fire from heaven? I, I can only assume that they're, they're referencing Acts 2, taking an image that is tied to a larger context. The fire there is defined, as even we were talking about this morning, in clear and discernible ways. It, essentially, Ultimately, it was representative of the, of the Spirit's coming, and the Spirit's expression was in the gift of tongues for a specific purpose, to confirm the apostles, to confirm what he was doing, as R.C. said yesterday, in, in now bringing out a people for himself, confirming that the Jews were, in fact, going to be a part of the church. And so it's, it has a context, but instead it's, it's removed from that context and, and made to mean something just strictly experiential. Yeah, and again, the, the, that's a non-repeatable event. Pentecost, as we heard from R.C., Pentecost and then the subsequent uh, exact same reality occurs in those different people groups um, to, to somehow turn uh, Pentecost into this kind of mockery uh, uh, as if you could literally call down fire from heaven. 
uh, is not only unbiblical, it's just folly, but it's more than that. It's manipulation. It, it's all about mind control. Rodney Howard Brown is a mind manipulator. From a human viewpoint, um, even more frightening is this, this is demonic from a, from a supernatural viewpoint. John talked about fire baptism, John the Baptist, and that was judgment. I really don't... Th th these people are so ah-biblical. Uh, they're so acquainted with words, Bible words without Bible sentences, Bible words without Bible context, Bible words without Bible doctrine. They throw the words around and they become means by which they manipulate people's minds. Uh, fire is obviously an incendiary word. It, it has all kinds of implications of heat and uh, power and energy and... I mean, that's a perfect word for them to use to manipulate people. Um, the next time fire comes from heaven, um, it, it's going to engulf the world in judgment. So that was a little bit of a more sound um, point of view on that. I'll add the link below. Well, he's also been seen on Supernatural Show and spoken with Guillermo Maldonado. Well, I covered him not too long ago and how he was also with Trump. Well, he's also been on the Jim Baker show. That's right. Yes, he has. And then I found the CD just as I was finishing up my research. I found that, look at that, they made a family Christmas CD together. <laughs> well, no, no qualms about that. Just thought I'd share that. But we know who Jim Baker is. Um, so he is a uh, blind to who Israel currently is right now. And so if he's been on his show, he has the same viewpoint. He's been having many conferences as, as well, and he believes in a great awakening. The Bible speaks of a falling away, not a great awakening. Yes, I believe some people um, will come to Christ before uh, his return, but, you know, let's keep everything into perspective here. But anyway, so Randy Clark has also has awakenings. Yeah, they have conferences, several of them. Um, he's also known as an apostle. Well, here are many uh, conferences they've held all around the world, as you can see. Germany, Greece. But what's most disturbing, and you know, I used to watch Alex Jones until I woke up a little more. And, you know, we all go in steps and when we're, how much information when you really start digging and really want to know the truth you you listen to one and then you realize okay they're not telling you the entire truth and you move on right but he is on the Alex Jones show and he's been on there several times several times not once not twice all of these are different times so why would a pastor go on a show such as Alex Jones where he has fits and everything else and he is a right wing I mean he is clearly a pro Trump so if you are right now if you are blind to who Trump is uh, that's another story we'll get to that in a minute but he's also been with Oral Roberts remember we just covered Oral Roberts not too long ago and especially these two things here on the right right here and the statue so I already have explained all that, so I'm not going to go into detail. Please watch the videos. But Oral, in a nutshell, um, seems to be a Freemason. But well, let's look at many controversies um, that he's had. Um, he's had a diploma, mill doctorate, apparently. Yeah, it is basically not real from what they're saying multi-level marketing. He was a part of Mona V, uh, a juice company that defaulted. 182 million loan that got defaulted. He was a part of that, so a pyramid scheme. He was also a part of um, stating that Donald Trump was about to be attacked. Okay, if he was, um, why would a pastor be sharing this information, right? He was a part of the Hurricane Irma. Um, the prayer took the teeth out of the storm. Sure, I believe that if 
we pray two or more are gathered we can we can move mountains um, that's what the Bible says and I believe that so some of these things it's possibly he speaks about human sacrifice um, absolutely true I believe these things are still happening unfortunately today um, he spoke about his pastors being heavily armed well we have to do what we have to do right now I I'm not speaking against that either conspiracy theories he's been on the Infowars I just touched on that Christchurch mosque, mosque shooting it was a false flag is what he was saying it's very much uh, probable um, many of us have looked at a lot of uh, things that have been going on and how they are not as they seem and that's why we are talking about the CV lately because it's not clearly what they are their agenda is and what they're showing on the news it, it is a different story but then he spoke in um, Canada at uh, Ecoluit sermon uh, Nunavut Canada and he was criticized because he was asking God God's people to give generously and most of these people who live there are on social benefits <sighs> these mega church pastors and now on the corona thing but let's take one quick clip of uh, something I just saw and it was a clip I saw on Bazelt 3 let's take a look my shelf over here is I got a honorary doctorate degree from Oral Roberts University. Oral Roberts was a great hero to us growing up, but I knew that I wanted to come back and, and be a part of the church. And so after a year, I came back and started the television ministry. My mother says I dropped out of college, but I just say I stopped. But uh, you know, God is so good, He can do exceedingly abundantly. They gave me an honorary doctorate degree a few years ago, so I only made it one year, but I'm a doctor from Oral Roberts University. so. Thank you to you guys. So my question is, is that how he got his doctorate degree? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Wow. One quick clip going back to CNN as well. Oh, look at this. Oh, my. This is my little piece of Africa. Wow. Howard yeah. Brown was once a little known South African preacher. Big game hunter. Well, I don't know anything about that more and about hunting in Africa, but I do know that he does trust 100% in Donald Trump. He's united with Paula White, has preached at her churches, so it's not just happened, you know, this is not just recent. And I just want you to hear something that bothered me. I know what you're talking about. Stick it, you know, where the sun don't jump. I, You think I care about your opinion? You think I care about what you think? You see, I actually know what's happening in America. I actually know what is taking place in the United States. I actually know that the country was taken over 100 years ago. You actually think that Republican Democrat is actually a representation of the American people. It is not. It is a system that is actually controlling the American people. And unfortunately, people like you have been dumbed down by the system. But I've got news for you. There are people that are waking up. Go read both of my books, The Killing of Uncle Sam and, Kill and uh, Killing the Planet. And maybe you'll wake up, grow a few brain cells, and find out what's actually going on in America. So, yes, I'm a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and we are whipping butt and taking names. And if you don't like that, that's fine. But I stand 100% with the President of the United States. And that's all I have to say for that now. So I thought I'd just leave this out there to all the trolls out there. Uh, keep screaming. Keep wailing. Uh, keep doing whatever you want to do. You've lost. You have lost. It's over. It is finished. You and your lies and your fake religious hiding behind the Bible, quoting scripture, what you think should and should not be done. I'm very proud of the president. And as far as I'm concerned, somebody said, well, he's really mean and he shouldn't say this. And he needs to get meaner. And you can thank God that I'm not the president because <laughs> I'd be a whole lot worse than what he is. So that's what he had to say to all of us. Isn't that a nice pastor? Well, I don't know um, exactly at this point when I was doing my research, was he united with the papacy? I'm not sure. 
but you can clearly see he's very happy to be supporting President Trump. But let's look at who he is united and linked with. It was Randy Clark, right? And he is united with John Arnott and Bill Johnson, Haiti Baker. Okay. So isn't it something that Randy Clark and John Art Arnott are really good friends? And here is John Arnott in the picture. They are united. That's him. These are the list of names who were there that day. So if he is very chummy with these people, he obviously should know that they are united with the papacy. Just like Rick Warren and the many others, Rick Joyner, watch my other videos. It's unfortunate, but this is true. Um, they've done many conferences together. You can't say it was just that they were meeting. No, no, no. They have many conferences, and if you remember, they're all united with Lou Engel, who kissed the feet of the priest that one day to show unity, and then the priest kissed his feet. Yeah, well, they are united and believe and trust in the Pope. And then I almost missed this. I couldn't believe it. He was in the SEND conference. Well, that says everything. There's no doubt in my mind who he is. Let's watch. So lift your one hand to heaven, put your other hand on your belly, and I'm going to pray. I'm going to ask the Lord to just touch you with special anointings here tonight, and you will tangibly feel that anointing on you. But I don't want any music. I want to hear the sound of the river coming from the hearts of the people. One hand in the air, the other hand on your belly, and get ready. Father, you told me years ago, you said, son, give me an opportunity to move and I'll move. So come even now and touch every single person from the littlest child here to the oldest saint. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost come upon every heart. Now in Jesus' name. Fuego, fuego. So I can't believe I almost missed that, but I'm glad I found it. It makes me upset. Um, it really does. He's looked and changed along the years. These are the few looks. It's sometimes hard to recognize him. But anyway, let's get on to his arrest. Sheriff Cronister argued that the health and safety of the community has to come first, stating that Howard Brown's recklessness, disregard for human life, put hundreds of people in his congregation at risk and thousands of residents who may interact with them this week in danger. Rodney Howard Brown has said only the rapture could force his church to close and referred to those concerned about the COVID as pansies. Um, Howard Brown's recklessness, disregard for human life, put thousands of people in danger. I'll add the link if you want to watch the sheriff speaking on this. Interesting though, um, he turns himself into authorities and was booked at exactly, at least from this uh, quote, 220 on March 30th. Just saying, I don't know. But he has a very long letter explaining about the charges and why he feels that this was inappropriate. Um, he may see two months in jail and also a fine of $500. That's on Facebook. I'm not going to add the link, but you can find him in Facebook and that's where it's listed. Um, he also said, I believe this is a time of spiritual sub sustenance. You look at your toilet paper and you think you're going to run out and there is another roll. And when you look again, there's enough. Well, the whole thing is planned and that way to shut down the gospel, to shut down Christianity. Someone said, no, you're making it up. I'm not making it up, he said. 
regardless of your thoughts, okay, yes, I do believe they are trying to uh, distance Christians so they cannot worship together. So in that sense, I do believe he is speaking the truth there. Um, yes, I believe that we can gather still. It says two or more can gather, right? We do not need a church and we do not need mega churches who are making all this money and spending hundreds on themselves, these pastors. He's, and this pastor spent $100,000 on hospital grade purification system for his church. Wow. Where that money could have gone for his neighborhood and other things. In my opinion, a waste of money, but we all have our own viewpoints. Let's see a clip, though, from um, Israel News Live. You know, on Channel 8, as they were doing their Facebook Live on Channel 8, and there was people putting them, putting, putting uh, comments on there, both supporting and against the pastor, and said they should arrest everybody, arrest those that went to the church, everything. Is that really where we're at? Is this really where we're at? This is where we want to be? I want you to think about that. Conister says that Rodney Howard Brown violated the president's order. That is incorrect and completely wrong. And then he said that, that Rodney Howard Brown, by having these two church services, violated the governor's order, executive order. That is a bold-faced lie. There is no executive order from Governor DeSantis about religious gatherings. There is no such order. I looked into every single coronavirus order that, that Governor DeSantis has issued, that he's executed, and there is not one order. He has recommended, as the president, has recommended that nobody gather with more than 10 people. That, hey, Chronister, that is not an order. So was he or was he not obeying the law? I know here in Finland right now they are definitely saying that ten can more than ten cannot gather. That's what they say, and we are to obey the law. It, it's it's really people. It's getting dark, just like the Bible says. Gross darkness, and really, what's driving all of this is fear. Yeah, it's fear. That's what's driving this. And if you and I are going to be able to stand, first of all, we need to obey the law, right? Whether it's state level or federal level. Unless they ask us to do something that is against God's law, that is against God's word, then we ought to obey God rather than men. But until they do that, we are to obey those that are in authority, that we may lead a peaceable life on this earth. So I am in no way promoting or condoning rebellion. Are you listening? And I agree with Honest News Network on that. We can gather in just a few people, as I kept saying along this video, two or more are gathered. They can agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, and it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven, where two or more are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. All we need is two or more. We don't need a false church, a mega church with pastors wearing thousands of dollars of clothing and shoes. These are my opinions and my views on this. You can do your own research and look into them. I'd love to hear your opinion as I do in every video. God bless. Stay safe. Till next time.